New Cyber Angel support is here for an X Tier Zero deck. There can only be one winner, and you're looking at it. Let's go. Cyber Angels used to be a tier zero deck, and because of that, the ban list has Dakini, Petite Angel, and Machine Angel Ritual at two. That means we can only play two among the three. We are choosing to play one Dakini and one Machine Angel Ritual. We have two brand new cards, Azana and Merciful Machine Angel. Azana on Ritual Summon forces your opponent to send a back row card to the grave, but they can chain it. Also, if she destroys an opponent's monster by battle, she can attack again into another monster, but not directly. Her final effect is if your opponent activates a card that targets your ritual monster, you could destroy any card on the field. Her being level 8 works very well with Dakini because besides using Machine Angel Ritual to summon her, you're going to be focused on using your Absolute Ritual and your Sprite's Blessing to summon your Azana or your Dakini. Both of those cards require you to use the exact level for the Ritual Summon, so being level 8 is incredible. The other brand new card is Merciful Machine Angel. Tribute a Cyber Angel, draw two cards, then place a card from your hand to the bottom of your deck. You could only use this once per turn. This is great for adding consistency for Cyber Angels. What you're going to want to do with this is tribute your Ben 10, draw two, then Ben 10 will activate to search your deck for a Light Fairy. In case this is your first time seeing Cyber Angels or you need a refresher, allow me to explain these cards very quickly. Dakini on Ritual Summon will force your opponent to send a monster they control to the graveyard. Gives all your monsters pierce damage. Also in the end phase, you could add a Ritual or Machine Angel Ritual from the grave to the hand. Ben 10 level 6 alongside level 6 E to 10 go great together. E to 10 on Tribute will give all your rituals plus 1,000 attack. E to 10 on Summon will search your deck or graveyard for a ritual spell. The main ritual spell you're going to search for with E to 10 will be Machine Angel Ritual. Machine Angel Ritual is the main card you want to use to summon Dakini and your Izana. This is the only ritual spell that allows you to go in excess of the level. So that means you could do 6 plus 6 into a Dakini. For every other ritual spell, you must be exact. Also, Machine Angel Ritual while in the grave, you could banish it to protect any of your monsters from being destroyed by battle or card effect. Absolute Ritual is great because not only does it allow you to use your hand or field for the Ritual Summon, you get to use your graveyard by shuffling graveyard materials back in the deck. Now, Sprite's Blessing is similar to Absolute Ritual, but it only allows you to use your field or hand. We are using three Senju. Senju on Summon, search your deck for a Ritual Monster. In addition to Senju, we are playing Gishki Chain on Summon. Look at the top three cards of your deck, add a ritual card to your hand. To top off the deck, we are playing Beatdown. Per level 5 or higher monster we have in the field, gain 300 attack. That's how the deck works. Enjoy the gameplay! All right, Taya opens up with Amazonas Princess, searches for Onslaught, which banishes our monsters that battle with any Amazons. Red Eyes Insight to search for Red Eyes Fusion, cannot use it the turn that you summoned a monster. Double set in the back row. We draw, play a Merciful, draw two, tribute a Ben 10, put a card in the bottom, Ben 10 effect, search for a Senju. Senju on summon, search for a Ritual Monster. Come forth, Azana to the hand. Activate Machine Angel Ritual, tribute off both Ben 10 for an Izana. Azana on summon, your opponent must choose any of their back row cards, send it to the grave. Activate, activate, activate. Double Ben 10, double search. We draw another Azana and we add a knee to 10. Chooses a Drowning Mirror Force, which on direct attack would have shuffled all our monsters back in the deck. We follow up with an Absolute Ritual. Return Ben 10 to summon an E to 10. E to 10 on summon, search for another Ritual card. We're gonna add the Machine Angel Ritual back to the hand. Activate, Machine Angel Ritual, tribute off the Senju, tribute off the E to 10, come forth, Izana. Number two, on summon, send the final back row card back to the grave. Then we're going to activate an E to 10 to boost up both of our Azanas. Plus 1,000, plus 1,000, activate beatdown, plus 600, 4,100, lethal. Set with an Inishi. So what we have to do here is play around Dual Wield. Dual Wield returns any two cards we control back to our hand. So we do want to make sure we do not have two cards on the field. We're going to play Absolute Ritual. Send the Ben 10. Summon. E to 10. So that will trigger the Ben 10 to search. And then E to 10 will also search for a Ritual spell. Going to add Nizana. 
add an absolute ritual. Normal summon sends you. Now I just talked about do not put two cards on the field, but these two cards on the field are okay if sent back to our hand. We do not mind. So we're gonna search for a Ben 10. Machine Angel Ritual for Uzana. Perfect. Now, if he were to dual wield our monsters back to our hand, we would still send them to the grave. Send the dual wield to the grave. E to 10 boost up by plus 1,000. That's exactly what it is, a dual wield. Follow up with a Machine Angel Absolute Ritual. Shuffle E to 10 back in the deck. Come forth, Ben 10. Beat down plus 600. That is lethal. Deal 700 to his face after destroying it by battle. Azana to the face. Red Oz Insight, search for a Red Oz Fusion. Now Azana and Dakini do not target, so we do not care about Red Eyes Slash Dragon. There will be no negating today. Summons a Slash Dragon, sets a back row card. Merciful. Tribute, draw two. We're gonna activate Ben 10, search for an E to 10. We're gonna activate Absolute Ritual, shuffle back in the Ben 10 to summon our E to 10. E to 10 on the field, activate, search for a Machine Angel Ritual. We're gonna summon a Senju, Senju, search for Ben 10. Follow up with the Machine Angel Ritual, tribute off the Ben 10, tribute off the E to 10. Come forth a boosted Azana, plus 1,000 attack. Send that back row card to the grave. What is it? So we're gonna wait, we're gonna see. Ben 10's gonna search, search for a Dakini. That back row card is a bluff. We're gonna follow up with the Machine Absolute Ritual. Tribute off the boosted Azana for Dakini. Dakini, activate, send that Slash Dragon to the grave. Lethal. Just like that, and remember, Dakini does not target, so if he had an equip card, it would still send the Slash Dragon to the grave, and would also not trigger the effect the Slash Dragon to summon a monster from the grave. Pre-nerf Subterra, you little cheater. Activates Mass Tribute, hits us for 15 and 18 to the face. Draw our card, activate Machine, Angel, Ritual. He's gonna chain his Nemesis Warrior to summon an Uma onto the field. Uma face down, all right. Come forth. Azana. Azana on summon, activate, send that back row card to the grave. We're also gonna chain Ben 10, Ben 10. He is chaining final battle to flip up his Uma. Uma will flip up and target our Azana and then banish it. We search for a Senju, search for a Dakini. Uma activate, Nemesis activate. So we do not get to activate the effect of Azana to destroy a card in the field because it was chain blocked by the Nemesis Warrior. Summon a Senju, Senju effect, activate, search for Azana. Follow up with a Sprite's Blessing, sending Azana for Dakini. Dakini on summon, send a monster your opponent controls to the graveyard. Thanks to beatdown, we are big enough to take out that Uma. 14 to the face. Dakini activate in the end phase, add back a Ben 10. Draws a card, plays a card, Scarabs, flip down, summons a Stygo, flip down. That is not enough. Did he forget about our Pierce? I think he forgot about our Pierce. Nope, now he remembered, scoops it. Magnets, we got Beta searching Alpha. All he needs is Gamma, then he could summon his big boy monster. Sets a back row card. We're gonna follow up with Merciful, draw two, put a card at the bottom, Activate Ben 10, search for Azana to deal with that back row card. Blessing. Blessing going to send Ben 10 to the grave. We are then going to summon E to 10. E to 10, activate. Ben 10, activate. We're going to search our deck for a monster and search for a ritual spell. We got Dakini to the hand and Machine Angel Ritual. Now we're gonna summon a Senju and search for a Ben 10. We are gonna actually change up our mind and instead of summoning, a Azana, we're going to summon Dakini. Dakini, deal with the monster. Now on activation, he's going to activate the beta to try to dodge our effect to send it to the grave. We do not target, 
So instead, we're going to send the newly summoned monster on the field to the grave. As soon as he realizes that he did not dodge the effect of Dakini, he got the hell out of the duel. Back to Fortnite, you fool! Cannon search for Keel. You what, mate? Sets a monster and passes. What did I say? What did I say? You cannot set a monster versus Cyber Angels. We're gonna send Azana for Dakini. Dakini effect, activate. Send that monster to the grave. Beat down, 3K, 14, you're finished. Now, thanks to Azana, we are able to summon that turn one Dakini much more consistently instead of relying on the E to 10, Ben 10 combo. Let's wrap this up with an epic duel. We're gonna normal summon send you search for Ben 10. Merciful, draw two, tribute, search our deck for a monster. Now, because we're going turn one, we wanna set up with a big monster, be well protected. So we are setting up for a Dakini. We want big boost Dakini, 3,700 attack, 4,000 with B-Town. And in order to do so, we're gonna activate the Sprite Blessing Tribute off the Ben 10, summon E to 10, then E to 10 will search for Machine Angel Ritual, Ben 10 search for the Dakini, activate the Machine Angel Ritual, and just like that, we have Dakini on the field, which will also be activating in the end phase. End phase, activate. What are we gonna add back? We're gonna add back a Ben 10. So we got Ben 10 and Absolute. We are ready for a follow-up. Transcending Crystals. Discard two, put two Crystal Beasts on the field. Pegasus, put a third on the field. What the? Hammond. Hammond is 4,000 attack. Summon it by sending three face-up spells to the grave. 4K tries to take out a Dakini, but due to Machine Angel Ritual, we protect the Dakini. We're gonna activate Absolute Ritual, shuffle our E to 10 from the grave back in the deck to summon Ben 10. Now, thanks to Ben 10, that is two level five or higher. Beatdown is plus 600. Take out the Hammond, take out the Pegasus, you fool! Get ready for that scoop. We're now gonna end phase, add our Ben 10, Transcendent Crystals. It's useless! Rainbow Dragon, by having seven Crystal Beast cards with different names on your field and or in the graveyard, summon Rainbow Dragon. 4,000 attack. All right, what the hell do we do? We need Dakini. What? <laughs> what? Summons a Rainbow Dragon, takes out Ben 10. All right, beat down 4K, suicide. <sighs> All right, draws, passes, rip into an absolute ritual. Play it, return Dikini, this is it. Come forth, Azana. Azana on summon, send one of your Crystal Beasts to the grave, beat down plus 300, swings into a Karibo, negates our damage. Draws a card, sets a card, we rip into a Senju. Senju search for E to 10. Activate Sprite's Blessing. Send the Ben 10, come forth, E to 10. Activate E to 10, activate Ben 10. We need another Azana. Azana to the hand. Now our Machine Angel Ritual is banished, so we need to use our Absolute Ritual. We're gonna send, uh, send you to the grave, send you from the grave back to the deck. Come forth, Azana number two. Send your final face down card to the grave. Beat down, lethal, just like that. Now he was just showing me his face down card. He did not need to send it. He could have sent the other card. Love it, love the deck. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you click on the top player Discord link, discord.gg slash dual links meta. Accept your invite. In the Discord, we have daily, weekly, monthly events in addition to free monthly events where I give away $50. We have the new player help corner with general help, deck help, and replay reviews. Daily cog decks, daily first place $8 anytime tournament wins data mine leaks as soon as they happen discuss the latest events and brand new decks as soon as they come out with the most active largest most competitive dual links discord in order to see all the channels you must click join on youtube and or on my twitch click on subscribe only then will you now be a part of the greatest dual links community there is you fools